I'm not safe, I cannot trust people. So the person is growing up with this belief and creates a lot of defensive mechanism. For example, a very common defensive mechanism is uh, when a person thinks that he can control everything and everyone. When I'm, when I'm in control, when I'm controlling you know, every person in my family, when I'm trying to control every person at my work, it feels like I can prevent the danger. And the person is getting stuck in this controlling mechanism. I cannot relax uh, because I have to control everything. Of course, there are a lot of tension. Of course, there are a lot of anxieties. Of course, there are a lot of fears. And the person believes that with control, he can overcome those things. Uh, an opposite reaction that can be formed... Just a second... An opposite reaction that can be formed uh, from uh, childhood trauma is when the person believes that I am nothing, I cannot uh, do anything, my opinion does not matter, uh, no matter what I do, it's not going to change anything. So the person is learning how to be a victim and develops victim behavior. The deeper the trauma, the more limiting beliefs we have, the more defensive mechanism we create. And the deeper the trauma, the harder it is to overcome life challenges, the harder for us to make money, it's harder to create a loving relationship, it's harder to find good friends, it's harder to raise kids because we teach them the same useless mechanism. And those mechanisms, defensive mechanisms, they were... They, we needed them during the childhood. We needed them to survive. But now uh, they're no, no longer suit us, but we're still using it because we don't know how we cannot live without them. So we try to keep everything under control. We do not trust people and we do not, if we cannot trust people, then we cannot create a happy relationship. Okay, let me know where you're watching from, what's your city, what's your state, country, uh, why did you come to this workshop, what was the most important for you, what would you like to hear, what would you like to learn about childhood trauma.